Welcome to this week's Forge tutorial. This week we'll be showing you how to make a crocheted coffee cup koozie. This crocheted sleeve is the perfect substitute for the typical cardboard sleeves that come with coffee cups. You'll only need a few things for this project. So first you'll need some yarn. We're using worsted weight acrylic yarn, but you could experiment with other types. You'll need a crochet hook and we used a 5.5 millimeter or size I. Also, of course, scissors and a yarn needle. Hard to see here, but it's a little bit thicker needle, a little bit larger needle, and a needle threader comes in handy. The first thing we'll do is attach our yarn to our crochet hook. We'll do this by creating a slip knot and pulling it snug onto the hook. Start your knot by taking the yarn and wrapping it around your fingers as seen here. You should have a little loop. Then you can take the shorter trailing edge and tuck it behind and under that loop. Now, with your crochet hook, weave underneath that trailing edge and then back over the top of the loop. Pull both trailing edges of the yarn, the short one and the one that's connected to the bulk of your yarn still, to make this a tight, snug fit. Once the slip knot is secure, we are ready to start our first row of crocheting. We are going to make it 14 chains long. To do that, we take our yarn around and over so that it's underneath the hook and we pull through the slip knot that we just made. So you can see here a little bit closer what it should look like. We're going to continue that process until we have 14 of these little chain links. 14 seems to be perfect for the cup we're using, but feel free to add or subtract chain lengths based on the size of your cup. Now we're ready to move on to the second row. To do this, we will use what is called a half double crochet stitch. To do this, wrap the yarn around your crochet hook once, count three loops in, insert the crochet hook through that loop, wrap the yarn again, and pull back through the same loop. You should have three loops around your crochet hook as seen here. Take your yarn, loop it one more time, and pull through all of those loops, and you've started your second row. Continue this process until you reach the end of the second row. Here's a closer view of the same thing as we continue down row two. Once you've completed row two, it's time to do the exact same thing for row three. So we'll turn the piece around and we'll start working back in the opposite direction, starting with the same half double crochet stitch as before. Continue with this process until you finish row three. Unfortunately, you can't speed it up like we can and fast forward. So take your time and make sure that you're going through the right chain links as you crochet down the row. You've probably guessed what's coming next. Once you've completed row three, turn your crocheted piece around again and continue now with row four. After you've completed row four, you're going to move on to row five and probably complete another row six as well. While this is a very repetitive and some would say tedious process, once you start to get the hang of it, it almost becomes a form of moving meditation and certainly becomes much easier as you go. Now that you've finished your sixth row, you're ready to finish the edge so that you can actually join this sleeve together and form your coffee cup koozie. To finish this edge, you'll use the same half double crochet stitch that you used before when making your rows. You can also use this technique to add a little length to your sleeve if it turns out that it's not big enough for your cup. Repeat this process until you have a fully finished edge or you're satisfied with the length of your sleeve. Once you're done with this, we're ready to move on to the final stages. At this point, you could keep crocheting and turn your would-be sleeve into a scarf, or you could sew up the edges, add a button to the top, and turn this into a change purse. Feel free to get creative, but we're going to finalize the coffee cup koozie for now. Start by cutting your crocheted piece off of the bulk of the yarn. Leave about a foot, foot and a half of trailing edge there. Then test the sleeve by hand, just holding it together to make sure that it's going to be the proper size. 
we'll be using a whip stitch to attach the two sides of the sleeve together. For this step, we'll need our needle threader and our yarn needle. Simply put the metal loop of the needle threader through the eye of the yarn needle. Here's a closer view of that process. Now, feed the long trailing end of yarn through the metal loop of the needle thread. For the final step here, pull the needle off of the metal loop of the needle threader. While you do this, you should capture the yarn through the eye of the needle. With your needle threaded, you are now ready to begin your whip stitch to hold the sleeve together. To do this, you'll push the needle through both sides of the sleeve, making a big loop essentially. Pull that loop tight and then continue this process all the way down the sleeve, as seen here from right to left. Here's a closer view of that whip stitch so you can see it again. Once you've reached the other side of the sleeve with your whip stitch, it's now time to knot that in so that this yarn will not come undone. To tie this knot, simply thread the yarn back and forth through multiple loops of your crocheted sleeve until it's nice and secure. Once you're satisfied with the strength of your knot, you can cut off the excess yarn and that end is finished. Now you can re-thread your needle on the last remaining trailing edge, knot this end up in the same way, and your sleeve is complete. Finally, cut off the last little bit of yarn and you're ready to test your koozie. As always, thanks for watching. Have fun and keep making. Thank you.